Welcome back to another video in this Python series on the Django framework and in this one we're going to take a look at adding that base.html template to our new homepage. So remember we've just moved it from uh, our accounts Django app to our new entire app dedicated to you know the homepage and things related to that. So what we're going to do is just create a new template for the homepage and connect that to the view. Let's go ahead and get started by uh, just creating that template. You can see in the views here we've got a function based view for the home page which we did in the last video and that's literally returning just a simple HTTP response uh, of some text. It works. So at the moment uh, that's not very good because we want to customize it and create our own template. So what I'm going to do is I actually need a templates folder here. So I'm going to create a new file which is going to be home for slash templates, so in a templates folder which you'll create. And then I'm also going to do home as well inside that, and then home.html. If you wonder why I do this extra folder, I explained that in a uh, video I think I did right towards the start of this series. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do extends that base.html. So if we do this, extends and then quite simply uh, base.html so just like that that's all we should need to do for that and that's because the base.html in our accounts app is being picked up but it's not in the accounts folder here like all the other templates we put that outside so that we didn't have to say something like accounts for example uh, accounts forward slash base.html so it makes it a bit nicer because it's uh, a template which is actually going to be used throughout multiple Django apps unlike all the other ones which have their own dedicated folder which relate them specifically to the accounts app even though we could use them if we wanted to we just have to do that extra slash that forward slash accounts uh, bit in there as well so when we've got that now I'm going to add a little bit of text just to make sure uh, we know what page we're on so I'm going to say it works here as well just so that it's really obvious what what page uh, this is when it's being rendered and now we need to connect it to the view so if we go to our home folder in our views we've got this function based view at the moment but instead of doing this I'm going to use a class based view so I'm going to get rid of everything that's here which isn't really a lot and in fact I don't really need any of this and I'm going to say from django.views Dot generic. So this is a class-based view and it's what's called a generic uh, class-based view. So I'm going to import template view which is the name of the class that we're using or that we're going to inherit from and that allows us to be able to define a class that's very simple because Django has defined pretty much everything that we need to do uh, for us except for the actual template itself. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say class and I can call this whatever I want, but I'm going to say home view uh, because it's sort of the home page, so it makes sense. And it's going to inherit from what we've just imported, so template view. So now I need to define uh, the template uh, that we want it to use. So in this case, it's going to be template name is equal to, and then it'll be, so if we look here, it'll be home forward slash home the HTML. So home forward slash home dot html and now what we need to do is we actually need to do one more thing which is in our urls uh, instead of views dot home here we have to do uh, we have to do this slightly differently so instead of uh, instead of doing views uh, dot home I'm going to do home view which is the name of the class uh, dot in fact, it would be views.homeView, but I'll change that import in a second instead, I think. And then I'm going to do as view. So this URL resolver actually re sort of expects a function to be returned, uh, which is what this as view method does for us. So it's going to go away and call the as view method on, uh, on that template view class because we inherited from that. Uh, so if that doesn't really make sense, this template view class has its own method as view, which we've been, which we've inherited that from, and then in our URLs we're just saying as view, so it pretty much just puts the right thing here for us. Because if we just left it as home view, uh, it would be a bit confused and it wouldn't know what you're doing. Because uh, it needs that method to be called because then it can return the actual 
view function, which is what the URL resolver expects, which is fine. So I'm actually going to change this import as well because we've now got a class which we can import explicitly. So I can say home.views and then import home view. So like that. And now that should be all we need to do to be able to get that to work. So the developments have just updated and I'll refresh this page. And but now we get this error. So let's have a look at this. So it seems to be coming from the templates and so this extends if it says in line zero which it does here which might confuse you a bit because you might think well there's no line zero in our template and that's because we've got this extends here extends based at html and that means that the error is actually coming from the thing that is being extended so in this case the base.html even though this is pointing to home forward slash home.html the line zero is your sort of clue to look at uh, well, line one, I guess, tells you the answer, uh, but it's base.html. So I'm going to look at base.html and see if we can find a problem in that uh, that sort of could resolve this error. So base.html, this is actually in the accounts app, remember, so it's not in our home app, but that's fine because Django sort of collects all the templates together. So let's have a look. So reverse for home is not working. Okay, so at the moment, so we moved our home uh, to a new app, but we haven't changed the link on that base uh, that base template. So if you remember, the base.html was the thing that defined, you know, that navigation bar with all those links on it and things like that, which appeared on every page. And we just forgot to change the one that linked to the home page. So it's it's still trying to look in the accounts app or the accounts namespace uh, for a URL named home. So if we look in the uh, accounts app, which is where the accounts namespace refers to, so you can see that if we go to the main URLs, account, so we have namespace accounts, so it's looking in accounts, and then we're going to URLs here, and it's looking for one called home, but we deleted that, and we moved it to home instead. So all we need to do is to get that to work, is go back to our base.html and we're going to change it from accounts to home because that's where we've moved it to and I guess we'll see what error we get next if we refresh the page so it now works so that's really good um, this base.html I guess has some base text on it which is fine uh, so these links should all work now because it's just the base.html template uh, we can log out and do all that stuff. So that's how we hook up our base.html to our new Django app and our new sort of uh, little view uh, class that we've defined as opposed to using those view functions like we did in the last few videos. So in the future I'm going to talk a bit more about the class based views and how they can be really really powerful and uh, simplify a lot of the views that you're defining with functions and sort of uh, just make your Python code much more concise and uh, more maintainable as well.